like to move that discussion to the big traffic commission. Two months ago, by state statute, Amarillo City Commissioners appointed a red light advisory committee. Since then, it's been reviewing facts and figures about Amarillo's intersections and the traffic and pedestrian accidents that happen there. I view this as a purely as a safety issue. It's not about a monetary issue, and I think that view is probably uh, probably viewed along with a lot of other people. I know the police department uh, has found it to be a very effective tool to uh, slow down accidents, slow down drivers. Those tools are red light cameras, which can already be found at four intersections in Amarillo. Wednesday, the committee discussed the possibility of installing more. Accident rates have gone down. Uh, and compliancy of not running red lights have actually has increased. So you've seen a decrease of tickets and what, what is occurring there is just people knowing that there's red light cameras there and they could get a ticket. It seems citizens are torn on the issue. Sometimes it feels a little invasive, it feels like you're being watched. But some also see a positive side. But I can see on the other hand how, how it would help with accidents at, at stoplights. Some have witnessed firsthand how dangerous a number of intersections can be. In another life, I was responsible for the emergency medical services. So it's often that we uh, ran a lot of car wrecks and busted intersections. And adding red light cameras to them is just another reason for them to hit the brakes. I mean, it's made me slow down. I've got a ticket. And so uh, it makes me very conscious when I come up on a on an intersection to know if it's a camera or not. Tickets from red light cameras cost $75. They're considered civil, not criminal matters, and they can be challenged. I have been sent a ticket in the mail, and um, yes, I did pay it right away. The money from those tickets is split among the vendor, the state, and the city. Kendall Lee, Pro News 7.